which man says to his family that my only direction upon my death is that I be buried in a casket built by inmates of Her Majesty's prison. And his family dutifully fulfills his wish. A plain wooden casket with none of the usual adornings. John Fuller's humility and great love for his clients was a central theme at Friday's special sitting of the High Court to honor the late attorney. His good friend, attorney Kendrickson Kentish, says Fuller's intellect, charm, humor, and humanity were bound to make him great no matter his life's pursuits. This for me is a very tragic loss, but I know for you, it is much more painful. And I wish to thank you for sharing this wonderful man with us. For sharing him with me. Director of Public Prosecutions Anthony Armstrong could not hold back tears as he tells the court of his office's admiration for the late defense attorney. We always knew that regardless of how heated and fierce the battle was, that he was engaging, there was not to be falling in an ounce of hate, anger, or ill will. I can do no better when I think of him of the many images that come to mind. But even as Fuller's family, friends, and colleagues mourn his passing, they're comforted by memories of his humor inside and outside the courtroom. Maybe his family can tell us at some time whether John was really deaf or not. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought he was very deaf. And I used to say to the court, Sir, you can't, my lord, you can't hear you, John. And he's deaf, he's just almost suddenly. He's deaf. And so he would, when John didn't want to hear you, he would. <laughs> we hear them. Many have also spoke of Fuller's love for fishing and the environment. Those of you who drive around the Jamra Beach or around the Darkwood Beach, and you see those red lights being placed there so the turtles can come and nest, who are you for? What's the precious spot for that? John Eli Fuller. Meanwhile, attorney Adelaide Smith says he regrets not yet completing a calypso he's writing to chronicle Fuller's life. Smith shares a few lines from the song. To the poor and downtrodden, a helping hand he would render. But to the wicked, vile oppressor, he never failed to lift a finger. Jimmy J. Roche, ABS News.